Hi everyone, I'm Evan and welcome back to the Tinker and Create video series. We are doing the test video right now and that means you should all have finished building your boats and be ready to test them. Here's my boat here, finished and ready to test. Um, of course, to test a boat and see if it works, you're going to need some water. I have my bath full of water. Uh, bath's a good idea. If you have a paddling pool or a pool outside, that also works. Please, if you are going to test your boat in a pool, uh, make sure that you're very, very careful around the edge of the pool and make sure that you have adult supervision as well. But it's time for me to test this one. So I'm gonna to have to load it up with cargo. Good thing I thought ahead and made these cargo containers very easy to remove so I can load up the ship. I'm hoping the engine will be strong enough to still move it. If it doesn't, well, I've learned something from that and I can try it again maybe with a little less weight. But we're gonna try this. I'm gonna take a risk and see how it goes. So, I need to fill the engine with the first stage of our fuel, which is going to be the vinegar. Now that's a lot of vinegar in there. We're gonna put some bicarb pellets in here, close the lid real quickly, and put the boat in the water and see how it goes. Alrighty. And look at that. It made a huge mess, but there is a lot of thrust behind that boat. The rocket is still going, and I think that's a successful test. Now, let's have a little look at this. We can talk about it in a bit more detail. Firstly, despite my best efforts, that was extremely messy. And secondly, what I have noticed is that uh, we have taken on a lot of water at some point in that voyage. So, I don't know if I sprung a leak somewhere else or if the force of the boat moving through the water splashed it over the top. So. All in all, I'm pretty happy with that. The engine worked after a little bit of uh, fiddling around with it. We had a couple of problems, but we were able to test our designs and make them work. We tested the boat to make sure that it was watertight, which we found out it wasn't, first of all. We were able to change that. We were able to add cargo containers to make sure the boat didn't list too heavily to one side. By the end of it, we're left with a boat that moves really quickly, actually. That went really fast. The last thing I wanted to test was the load ratio of my ship. How much it weighs when it's empty compared to how much it weighs when it's full. So full with all the cargo and everything, my ship weighs almost 600 grams. If I take all of the cargo out, my boat weighs a little under 150 grams. Now, just a quick uh, estimation there, that means it's got a load ratio of about four. It's four times as heavy when it's full compared to where it's empty. Now that is a great number for me to have. Uh, I think that's pretty good, but more importantly, it gives me something to aim for if I try and improve the boat. If I make changes or make a different design, it means I can try and aim for a load ratio of better than four. It can carry more cargo, it can be lighter, or maybe it has the same load ratio, but it can go faster. But it's a great way to measure how well we're doing when we try and improve or change our designs. Well, that was my test. Let's see what everyone else did. Hi, my name is Jess and I'm from SciTech. 
I made a boat using Evan's video and what was really important to me was that my boat would carry a very heavy cargo. So I chose some light materials like an aluminium tray and some straws and some balloons um, and I'm going to use washers as my cargo. Now the way it's going to move is using this sail and I'm going to use a hairdryer to push it along um, on the water. Hey, I'm Laura from SciTech and I made a solar powered boat. I modified a little solar powered car and uh, sort of moved things around, has a little engine inside and I made a propeller out of a um, tomato can lid. Weight was definitely a bit of an afterthought for me, so I'm interested to see how it goes. Oh, no! Mine! <laughs> Go that way! <laughs> I think mine was a bit too heavy this time. Mine's good at going around in circles. Mine worked really well during my first test and obviously um, it didn't mean that it would succeed all the time. <laughs> Mine started to sink, so I want to try again. Go. It's <laughs> <laughs> <That's> amazing. <laughs> Yours really does what it wants. Yeah. <laughs> it's a good mind of its own. Mm -hmm. But it can go forever as long as the sun's out. So what do you think you need to do to make your boat better? Uh, look, it's great when it's a, just a very light breeze, but uh, it sinks when the wind is too strong. So I would uh, try and maybe remove some weight so it can safely make it to the other side in a stormy weather. What about yours? Uh, I need to work out how to make my propeller make the boat move in one direction mm. rather than turn around yeah. in circles. I think that's a pretty good first step. <laughs> Thanks for watching Tinker and Create. I can't wait to see what you make.